So, apparently I was asked the reason why I put backs on my shelves. Recently have to be anally thorough with everything I do, because people are just stupid online. Is The reason why you put backs on them is to keep the chinchilla's poop from falling out of the cages. It's nothing new if it comes to you owning a chinchilla. Most, most shelves look like this that you get when you buy them. Um, there's no backs on them and all the poop would fall out because normally chinchillas uh, cages you put fleece liners in the bottoms of them. You, you know you see that in my YouTube channel. You see that on other people's YouTube channels. You'll see that pictures throughout you know animal boards or whatever. People own chinchillas that they put fleece liners on the bottom to protect their feet and to put tiles on to keep the chinchillas cool down because that's what you have to do. So. Shelves come like this, and they're like seven or eight dollars, and they're expensive. When a seven, eight dollar, three dollar board, you could make twelve or thirteen of these <coughs> shelves in different size. Even a bigger one here with different size board, it's a little more cost. But not only will these protect the poop from falling out of the cages, but it will also be more sturdy against the cage. So when the chinchilla jumps on it, it's not going to wobble back and forth like this one will. This one will wobble back and forth and create problems with your cage, bending the cage bars, breaking the cage bars, creating a spot in the, within the cage for the chinchilla to get out of, which only needs like maybe a little section like this to get out of. A chinchilla could get out of a small spot like that. So these are heavy duty and this one, this one's uh, used a recycled wood. I gotta sand it down yet, but this used to be a part of another shelf that I got, so that's why it looks like that. And um, you know that paint that comes onto, you know, some of the boards you buy when they mark them. But this is a double-sided shelf to protect both sides of the cage. So whenever you have this in your cage, um, you know this one will be against the front of the cage, and here's a corner of the. This will be against the corner of the cage, and then this will be the corner shelf for the front. So all the chinchilla's poop won't fall down onto the floor in front of your feet. So, like, if you're, if the ch ch cage is by, like, a uh, door opening or something, because it poops will fall out of the cage on a daily basis, sometimes so much depending on what the chinchilla is doing at night, that the floor could be covered with tiny little pebbles that feel like Legos onto your feet. So this will help prevent that. And also other wood that you see on my cages um, on my channel. Eventually you'll see a bunch of boards on the outside of the cage too. And sometimes I put plastic on the outside of the cage, which I'm doing away with the plastic on the outside because they can still get to them even though the bars are like this big, really, really, really small in between. They still get to them. So I've been retrofitting my cages to put on the inside. It doesn't really matter. Like I don't like to be too uh, arts and craftsy whenever it comes to how the shelves are because they're going to get dirty and they're going to get peed on and eventually they're going to have to be recolored anyway. So uh, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit longer on each side. Whatever helps protect the poop fall this way because they will chew it down all the way down to the ledge there. Um, if I did show you a picture of mine, uh, the, the, some of the newer ones look like that even the backs are chewed down all the way down to the level line and end up having to put another board on the outside of the cage to keep them from chewing it. So that's basically how some of my shelves are, why I do it this way, with the boards and the backs, and more stability.